Hello, this is Miss Cindy with Westside Elementary Colts Corner in Richmond for today. Today we are going to be talking about mechanical engineering. We are going to be using the rubber band and the reason we're using the rubber band is today on March 17th in 1845, Stephen Perry of the Rubber Manufacturing Company, Messrs. Perry and Company Rubber Company Manufacturing London, patented the first rubber band made of vulcanized rubber. Perry invented the rubber band to hold papers or envelopes together. Now, what we are going to be talking about today is potential energy, which is energy that is stored, and kinetic energy, which is energy in motion. Now, for this particular experiment, it would be a good idea to have a piece of paper with a chart written out. And for our chart purposes, what I have done is we have our distance written here across four inches, five inches, six, seven, eight. And then we are going to do at least two trials. Um, I'll put an extra one there just in case we decided to go a little bit longer. But we are going to be doing at least two trials of this to provide some um, consistency and testing. Now, when doing an experiment, consistency is key. So we are going to be doing this experiment the same way each time. And what our variable is going to be is how far we pull back the rubber band. So what you're going to need is, again, a piece of paper to record your results. You're going to need some rubber bands of the same type and length. Um, these, you know, I don't know about you, but if I look in my junk drawer at home, there's usually several rubber bands. Um, but I have several rubber bands here that we are going to be using today. I have a nice ruler that I'm going to be using, 12 inches. And we are going to also be needing... Um, a measuring tape at the end to decide how far it actually went. Now, I wasn't able to find a measuring tape off right off the bat, so I have a yardstick, and this yardstick is pretty cool. It actually folds up, so I really like this one. I can store it wherever. But those are the things that you're going to need for our experiment today. So what we are going to do is, again, consistency is key, and we are talking about potential energy versus kinetic energy, and what we are testing is we are going to take our rubber band, and as you can see, the ruler is numbered from 1 through 12 over here. I am going to take my rubber band, and I'm going to hold it like this. I've got it pulled down to where it's on the 4, because that's my 4-inch mark. That's where my starting point is. I want to see how much potential energy gets transformed in kin into kinetic energy based on how far back I pull this rubber band. Again, to test this theory, I am hypothesizing, which means I'm making an educated guess, that the more I pull back my rubber band, the more kinetic energy it's going to have, the farther my rubber band will go. So again, let's see if we can put this in action. I'm going to put my feet in the same spot. So I have a little mark here that I made on the floor so I know where I'm supposed to stand. And I'm going to hold, there is a chair right here that I was setting in earlier. I'm going to hold my arm right above that so it's in the same spot every time. And I'm going to attempt to make sure it's in the same way every time. So right now I have it at a four. I'm going to let my rubber band go. And this is where number four landed. So let's see if we can try that again. We're going to do number four one more time. See if it lands in about the same spot. Again, I'm holding it the same way. This time it didn't go quite as far. So now let's test and see what happens when we pull it back for five inches. Again, feet in the same spot, arm in the same spot. Consistency is key when conducting any. So let's see where our second number five is going to land. And again, I hope you guys are taking the time to write down um, where this goes. This is a great experiment to do in groups of two or three. If you want, you can of course do it by yourself, but if you can also involve um, two or three people in that, whether that be your caregiver, whether that be your sibling, your cousin, your grandma, whatever, 
So let's see, now we know where our first number five is. Let's see where our second number five is gonna land. Again, I'm making sure I'm holding it the same way, staying in the same place. Let's see what we got. landed close to the number five you know I could say that that would be you'd have to decide if that was within your variable range that you wanted to accept that let's see how far we get when we do for six inches so as you can see I'm pulling that back to six inches this is considered potential energy okay again my feet are in the same place my arm is in the same place So right now, my working hypothesis is that each time I add some more potential energy, some more length to that pullback, I am creating more kinetic energy each time I add that. So let's see if that holds true. So we're going to try this again. Again, this is on a number six. We've done our first number six. We're going to do our second number six, which is six inches pullback. to our first number six. So now let's see what happens. Again, our working hypothesis is each time we add more potential energy by pulling a little bit farther back, we get more kinetic energy. So let's see, which is again, energy in motion. So we're gonna pull back to number seven. Again, feet in the same spot, arm in the same spot. So let's see where that one landed. like we're working on a good firm hypothesis that potential energy gets created into more kinetic energy the more that you apply. So again, we are at number seven, seven inches pullback. Again, feet together, feet same way, arm same way, let go. Let's try our eight inches, okay? So again, we're pulling back to eight inches, feet in the same way, arm in the same place. Let's see if I can So let's see if eight holds up to the test for our second time. So there's our eight. Feet in the same way, arm in the same position. as far. It makes me wonder if I did exactly hold it the same way. What I would want to do is, this is a good way if you're working in pairs or in groups, for everybody to take accountability that says, hey, wait a minute, this, the last time you held your arm this way versus this time I held it that way. So I would like to see about that and see if you have ways that you can work together. This is a good way to work together. Again, when you do any kind of experiment, whether that be chemistry, engineering, science, consistency is key. Stand in the same spot or you mix the chemicals in the same manner in order that you can say, yes, I can say for sure my hypothesis is pretty correct. Again, it's an educated guess. It's not considered a fact unless it is 100% true each and every time you apply that criteria. So again, today we talked about mechanical engineering, potential energy, which is energy that is stored, and kinetic energy, which is energy in motion. 
Today in 1845, Stephen Perry um, patented the rubber band. So again, thank you for joining us for Westside Elementary Colts Corner Enrichment Time.